Hello, Identify Gamers. We are back with some more Koa and, um... Uh, so, yeah, how are you guys doing? Yeah, don't don't mind me or anything. No, don't mind me. I'm just, um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, uh... You know, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Uh, so we're gonna watch some Arcoa today. Um, don't, I don't really know what's happening here, honestly. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I really don't know. Oh, and it seems like I can still interact with that, even though the button doesn't show up, so that's cool, I guess. Uh... Yeah, so... I, 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 I don't know. I just, I just don't know what's happening down there. I really don't. My goodness, this looks weird. I almost don't want to leave. Yo. Wait, the whole thing is glitched out. Whoa. Yo, it's like the ship has been flooded. Yo, wait, this is actually really cool. Oh. What? Yo. It reflects. It reflects the... Bro, this is so weird. This is so pretty, too, though. It's, it's honestly really pretty. Like... I, I kind of want to see more of this glitch. It's a <laughs> I honestly do. This honestly looks really cool, dude. What the heck? Dude, look at all these people coming down here as if nothing's wrong. They just don't know. They just don't know. I mean, it's probably only for me, but even then, they just don't know. Uh, it, or the, the water should not be reflecting this, but it does. It's cool. I guess it's just like programmed like that. But like the water shouldn't even be in this room. Because the, 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 some of the floor textures, I guess, just bugged out. I don't really know what's up with this. Hello, Melly. Do you like the glitchy? Do you like the glitchiness? It is very glitchy. Dude, the tables won't load. The tables won't load. I can't go through the tables. Isn't the whole point of this ship, it's supposed to be like the one that, you know, is like a replica of the one that sank in the past or something. So yeah, honestly, Composer looks pretty good. Yup. Yup, Barmaid just all alone, yup. Oh, uh, so weird looking, dude. All right, so that was kind of weird. Anyway, let's do the Barnold and Buppets <laughs> login here. That is gonna be... Thief? I I can't tell, actually. Let's see, who is this? It is, yes. Oh, my favorite guy, Creaker. I sure do love Creaker. Oh, uh, today we have Puppet Creaker. <laughs> it's... His flashlight creates hurdles for those chasing after him. His briefcase is a bottomless pit that takes in anything and everything. Because he robs people. Yeah, it's funny because he's a thief. Ha 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 Creature Pearson, bro. All right, anyway, we're now on to the Koa matches. We have CT versus ACT. This is uh, day four, set number two. And we have, uh, for Rama first half, we have Opera with Detention, Trump Card, and Blink. Going up against the Antiquarian, Perfumer, uh, Embalmer, and Mercenary. Now, once again, since the playback has been uh, recorded incorrectly, there is no uh, commentator slash game audio, so I apologize for that. Uh, that'll be the case for, um, I believe, tomorrow as well. Uh, since we'll be watching two more sets tomorrow and it looks like she's gonna opt to chase the uh, the mercenary here first We've got a uh, fast hope break and panic on this uh, opera singer and as for the survivor builds We have borrowed time knee jerk on everybody but the mercenary who has borrowed time tied which honestly with with characters that are um, or I guess uh, teams that are confident in their kites is kind of what you want to run against the opera singer Flywheel is not really that good unless it's uh, you know paired as like a full kite build with a uh, with all knee jerk there. So we're gonna see drop pallet maybe. Oh, yep, Mercenary takes a hit and uh, does not drop the pallet. Gonna transition out of this area, but he only has one elbow pad left. And uh, yeah, he's gonna go down really soon. Um, best case scenario, he forces out Bleak's running elbow pad. You have elbow pads right here. Drops his pallet, forces her to go around. Uh, but he doesn't really have anywhere to go. He does or does break this pallet, so it uh, gives him a chance to go over here, but I don't think he makes this. He does run back, but yeah, he, does, he just dies. And that, everybody, is why it's okay to chase the Mercenary because he literally can't do anything. Because Mercenary can do nothing to Opera Singer. Uh, you use Elbow Pad, and guess what? She's back up on you in like two seconds. Like, she she has like just infinite Elbow Pads, and you only have three. So, yeah, that is why Mercenary is not very good against Opera Singer, everybody. This is why you usually want to see Officer come out as opposed to uh, Mercenary. Now, uh, they do have an Antiquarian, which is good. Antiquarian is very, very good. Um, especially against uh, basic hit hunters because they can't use any like chips or abilities to, uh, you know, destroy. Um, I guess, you know, to, to, to give damage, to get damage. And baiting some swings, it's not gonna swing. Okay, there's the first rescue. Do we see any swings at all is the question. Let's see, drop pallet, teleport. And she tries to swing, but misses. Misses the swing. That's unfortunate. And now she can probably just blink down this Antiquarian unless she gets like a good staff here. Let's see, oh, that actually does hit. The range on that is pretty nice. So Antiquarian does uh, prevent herself from going down. 
Probably one of the only survivors uh, who could have been able to down right there. Besides, like, I don't know, full full football forward. I, don't know, I guess a lot of survivors could have maybe printed the down, but you know, Edge Crane was probably one of the most consistent ones to uh, to do such a thing. So Mercenary is going to sit back on the chair. Luckily, he does have a long chair time. I believe it's 10% um, longer than other survivors, so that'll give them a, a little bit of time to work with. And two survivors are done, but the rest are all super low. They're going to opt to heal up the Antiquarian once again, and coming from the tram, I believe, is the Embalmer, I think? Is the uh, Embalmer is going to come in here, get the rescue. Uh, it's going to be pretty late. He's going to have to risk a Terror Shock here, though. Um, okay, okay, careful. Nope, no Terror Shock, no Terror Shock. Okay, that's good. Uh, where are you going? Why? Why? I mean, I guess, I guess, you, okay, okay. I think I know why. They just wanted to split up. Oh, Mercenary can get on tramp. Never mind. Never mind. I guess that was maybe the goal. Okay. I guess, I guess that was kind of the goal. Maybe to try it. Okay, you die in front of the die in front of tram. Die in front of tram. Okay. He gets hit by tram and then dies. That's funny. Oh boy. Okay. Well, he is dead. Yep. Yeah, gonna just walk away from Antiquarian as well. Uh, and then they're, they're gonna be able to pressure down the uh, the cipher here that the perfumer is working on. So yeah, they're gonna be off this 71% cipher. And Perfumer does have does have three perfumes to work with, but Opera still has blink, so she could blink for first hit and make those perfumes pointless. Let's see if she does that. Yup, does exactly what I just said. Yep, exactly. Why bother with three perfumes when you can just blink and make her items completely useless? Yes, she can perfume for distance, but that's all. That's all in your Opera Singer. So, yep, perfume back, and then guess what? You're freaking Opera Singer. Uh, and she vaults into you for some reason. Okay. I guess it was kind of a mind game there, so she probably only... I mean, I guess the Vault was the only option she had. It was either Vault or Die or Die. So, yeah. At that point, with the speed of Opera Singer, it's just kind of a mind game. Cyphers are slightly climbing up again. Um, one's about to be finished here, and Antikrin is coming on in. And they still, ha they still have an Embalmer Coffin, which is which is something. Embalmer still can Coffin himself. Uh, Antikrin is going to try and get a Flute. Okay, that's one Flute. And, uh, okay... So you just lost you just she just swung two times for no reason at all and Yeah, she's just dead So she swung once for a disarm and then the other two swings just didn't work. That's really odd That is very odd and the thing is they're also dead on the 71% cypher and what does perfumer do? She perfumes just for anything Nope, no perfume back. No perfume back. Okay. She gets the vault. She gets the vault TP back to Antiquarian and nobody's working on it. Yeah, the, the goal is to get one person out. If you can get one person out against Opera Singer, that's always the goal. But I, I just don't see it. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Because the thing is, they can't they can't work on Corner House. Corner House is the one at 71. So it's like, yeah, the Cyphers do exist. And yeah, she just, she she doesn't teleport back there. Uh, Wait, they coffined the... No, never mind. I thought they coffined the Perfumer first. No, they did. They, the, the Perfumer does have the coffin. Wait a minute. So why didn't they coffin the Perfumer? She's just going to die. Embalmer's gonna die. If she chairs the Embalmer, they're gonna get rid of the the coffin. Antiquarian's gonna die. Embalmer's gonna die. Yeah, that's 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 just it. That's literally it. Um. So you chair the Embalmer, right? Right? Yeah, you chair the Embalmer. You do not chair the Embalmer. Never mind. I thought you would chair the Embalmer just so that you could uh get rid of his coffin. But I guess she's gonna play the bleed out game because she knows. She knows the perfumer has no self heal, and if she uses the coffin, then uh, she knows exactly where she's gonna go. And Balmer does still have the self heal, but he has to go. He has to get up and go all the way to corner house and decode thirty percent of the cipher while she has teleport. Yeah, this is not happening. This is not happening. And even then, they'd have to play it for like dungeon as well, or, or, or like get one person out. It's not happening. Obviously, you you try to make it happen, but it's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. At this point, yeah. Now now you bleed up the embalmer. Yup. So now he has no self heal. Dang, she knew exactly where he wanted to go. Yeah, that, that was their only chance. Because if, if she kept staying on the Perfumer, that would have been better for the uh, Embalmer, because he would have been able to make his way toward Corner House, at least try and start the Cypher. Um, but the, the Coffin is on the Perfumer, and, and Opera knows where she is. So even if you Coffin here, I guess I guess what you can do, the best thing to do here, is Embalmer crawls towards the, the Coffin, and they heal each other. So she's going to pop the Coffin here, but Opera can get there in time. Knowing Opera, yeah, she TPs. Embalmer has his uh, heal prime, so she can go over and heal Embalmer, so they're gonna both gonna be back up. And by the time she gets there, they're both, <laughs> they're, they're like, by the time she gets the heal out, they're both gonna, uh, or she's gonna be there, yeah. 
Opera's already there. They're scattering. And now they both have no self heal. So it's like, yeah, it's a good strategy. It's a good idea. He's going to get on Tram to stall for time. But now he's just dead. Nope, he's not dead. He's going to go out to the Perfumer. Uh-oh, you got caught. So a, a valiant effort, I must say. It, it is it is a good effort. I can't lie. They are putting up one heck of a fight. Especially this Perfumer. This Perfumer is doing a great job. But they're just out of resources. They don't have anything. She does get the Vault. She does get the Vault. And, uh, oh, okay, that looks kind of jank looking. Um, he is making his way toward Corner House. But I think, I think it's just too little too late at this point. Pout Mind Game, she vaults, and that's death. Oh, not quite, but now she she messed up her dash. She's dying out in the open. Okay, now, now there's the down, there's the down. Her TP is going to be back up, though. Her TP is going to be back up. She waits for TP, TP, and you're dead, buddy. You're dead. Now, high key with TP, with TP, if, if TP wasn't an, a thing there, they actually would have maybe made it. I'm not even joking. They maybe would have made it. Oh, man. So they would have to pop, but yeah, that's that's the 4k right there. They actually almost got it. I have to give it up. They actually almost got it. So, you know, good try. Now, I want to round one second half. We're going to see Opera Serena once again, this time going up against Wildling, Aeroplanish, Barmaid, and the Patient. So, completely different team. Pretty interesting uh, that we have Wildling. Wildling does kind of work on Ever Sleeping Town since there's a lot of open areas that he can go into with his boar. Um, and what's funny about this uh, match, I didn't really think about it before, is it's Team CT versus Team ACT. So they both have CT in the name, it's just one of them has an A before it. I don't know, it's just kind of goofy. Okay, we get the intro of Ever Sleeping. Ooh, looks very beautiful. Don't get to see it for too long though, because now it is time for the Opera Singer to start sweeping. Now CT wants a 4K here to draw this set so far. Um, Okay, we're going to see some cool costumes on everybody there. I think we got that S-tier new barmaid that came back in the shop recently. S-tier Charles. And the opera is going to be running Detention, Trump Card, Fast Palette Break, uh, Berserk, and uh, Blink on the Persona Web and whatnot. And after the Survivors, we've got Borrowed Time Tide on the Wildling and Aeroplanus. Borrowed Time, Knee Jerk on the, uh, the Patient. And then Flywheel, Knee Jerk on the Barmaid. So a Barmaid with a full kite build. Interesting. So they do want her to take the kite in. What? Why? I. Okay. Why didn't Opera just hit? I don't understand. I guess if she hits, she can't like walk toward the. I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand why you don't just hit there. Cause if you hit, yeah, you got a tower cover and then get on tram and then they leave, right? Or do they hit and then you just? I don't know what the. I don't know. Somebody better at the game could probably... Oh, boar. Okay. I say say somebody better at the game than me could probably explain that interaction better, but I'm not really sure what's up with the interaction. I, I feel like you just take the hit every time. And because it's barmaid, if, you, if she if she takes the, or if she hits there, she guaranteed gets the drink off because of tram. Is that why? Maybe? I, I guess, but don't you want to hit for presence at least? I mean, I don't know. What do you do? Jeez, okay. Oh, oh. We're body blocking now. Oh, rip. That was... Okay, that could have been really goaded. That could have been really solid, but uh, yeah, not much. Uh, not gonna obfuscate the Wildling. Wildling's been on board for a while. Uh, so yeah, the, the teamwork is actually uh, doing pretty well here so far. The ciphers aren't really that good. I can't lie, the ciphers aren't really that good. But it's been almost two minutes, and everybody is still at full health. And it's all because of like these kind of weird interactions. Uh, Barman is no longer taking the kite. It's gonna be. Oh, she's going back for the Wildling. Hold on. Um, well, here's the thing. He's going to have boar in 10 seconds. So you just pallet mind game here. And, oh, dear. Oh, dear. You have to get on board now. Immediately get on board because she has blink. You know she has blink. Yep. He's on board. Now you go into open area. The thing is, she has cape, though. She has cape now. So that's the first on boar. Okay. Yeah, his boar is doing the glitch. His boar is doing the glitch. Yeah, or he doesn't do the running animation. That's so stupid, dude. Oh, my gosh. The boar is so buggy. Yep. Just horse her out in the open. This, was, this is why this right here is why wildling is good this right here because he can just walk along this right yep okay now he's kind of clipped now he's kind of clipped uh-huh there we go it's okay it, it works better when opera doesn't have cape when opera is when opera's at low presence that works so well because she can't use cape she cannot use cape there in fact wilding was probably a little too close to that shadow he probably should have gone over more to the left um but even then look at the ciphers that's the first chair Oh my gosh, Team ACT. I, I, I just kind of remember that this is supposed to be a 4K for Team CT, but ACT is doing so well. I mean, yeah, lots of jank interactions, but even then, it's just looking, is, is, patient, is patient hooking to a cypher? He's hooking to a cypher. 
He's using up his kiting abilities just to get to a freaking cypher faster. And Aeroplanus hovers just to avoid a hit for a second. Why? Why? I guess just to give him some more distance? Like, he knows he's going to go down, but he wants to give Wildling more distance so he can get on board or something? I can only imagine. That's really odd. And now she's just completely onto the Aeroplanist. And he's using he's using jetpacks to get further. Yo! What? They're using their resources while they have time. He used up a hover and a jetpack while he's dying just to get farther away from the Wildling. And the Cypher, too. Wait, that makes so much sense. It feels so. It feels like something you would never want to do, but it makes so much sense. Okay, this this is how you know these are top players. And yet, Barmid is here. She's got a drink, though. Oh no, she doesn't have a drink. Who who should give the drink to? Okay, nice flywheel, but you still get hit anyway. Um. Okay, well, Barmid's kind of clipped here. Yeah, run out, dot out in the open, dot out in the open. They're working on another cipher, and it's moving fast. It is moving fast. Yeah, they're dual decoding. I was like, that is, that cipher's moving fast, dude. Yep, six ciphers against an opera singer. I guess it's just totally possible. And this is only the barmaid's first chair, so that's fine. The, the best this opera can get, unless she like does some crazy end game plays here. I feel like the best opera can get here is a draw. Because it is still opera singer. So the pressure is on. You want to try and get like as many kills as possible. So it makes it easier for your uh, for your team. And they already have a, they have a whole wall of pallets set up. And the cipher is primed. Do they just pop? No. She TP's back. It's just pop. Rescue. Pop. Or do they wait? They're gonna wait for the hit. Okay. No, they're just gonna pop. They're like, yeah, wait. Let's just use our tide. Let's just use our tide. If 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 Barman's gonna go down anyway, it might as well it might as well be while we have tide. So here comes knee jerk. Ooh, smart. She vaults back through. I would have just taken the knee jerk speed and headed to the corner house. Oh, it does get hit there. But it's okay. You can die off in a uh, tide moment. And there's a TP. Okay, but she has self heal. And somebody got hit by the tram. Oh my gosh, that's so unfortunate. They were playing so well, but he got hit by the tram. Oh no, dude. And that that that. That, uh, that gate's at 75. Oh, that's so unfortunate. He must have been looking behind him, not looking in front to see, or like to, to the side to see the tram. Okay. But the thing is, Opera, Opera does have TP back. She can go for the barmaid. But yeah, she has to TP back, TP back. Barmaid can get back up though. This should only be a one escape. Because he, he, the, the, the freaking wildling has Pumba. Uh, you see barmaid? You have to go for barmaid. Does she make it to corner house in time? No way she makes it to corner house. Yeah, she does not make that. Not against freaking Opera Singer, dude. She's so fast. Opera is too fast. And do they make it out the gate here? Let's see. He can body block with Boar. Do they make it out? Do they make it out? He makes it out. He makes it out. He makes it out. He makes it out. And Boar. Boar is ready. Boar is ready. I think with Boar, he gets out. Vault. Then Boar. Just use Boar. Just use it. What are you doing? Oh, he doesn't have... He doesn't have Boar! I thought he had Boar! He's dead! He doesn't have Boar! What?! I thought he had, but they healed the barmaid and he's not leaving. Okay, force him out, force him out. Hits him out, hits him out. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's still a three escape though. I thought he, had, I, okay, I swear I thought he had boar. So he doesn't have boar, so that's, that's a three escape. That's a three escape, dude, against an opera singer. Dang, the support was crazy. My goodness. And I feel, I don't even think they played like, I mean, I should say they didn't play. They, no, they played really well. But they made like some little mistakes and they still got a three escape. That's insane, dude. Next match is round two, first half. We're gonna see Gamekeeper coming out here. Yep, and CN, it's just, it's operas and banes, everybody. I hope you understand that. Uh, we're gonna see Mercenary, Novelist, Priestess, and Barmaid. Now, Priestess is a bit of an interesting one because I don't know how well Priestess does against Gamekeeper who has a constant hook. I don't know if she's gonna even be able to get her portals set up. Um, as for Novelist, he could be really interesting because I think he can swap with Bane before he can hit him. Uh, or but when he hooks him and then he can swap with him. The only issue is I think Bane might be able to hit him afterwards. I don't really know. I haven't really played Novelist against, uh, against Gamekeeper too much, but that is something that he could do. But don't get me wrong. Every time I have the chance to, uh, to watch, um, oh. Oh, the game audio is back. Okay, cool. Okay, I guess the commentary audio is back. Never mind. I thought it was gone for the full set. Okay, never mind. Hopefully it doesn't go away again. Anyway, uh, setting up some traps. You're going to be chasing the priestess first. She drops down. Does he see that? Yep, he saw that. He saw that. Okay. Wait for it. Go, go down. Go down. But she only has one portal left. Um, I guess it really depends on this routing here. That was a really nice portal. Whoa! That is... That is... That is a persona web. What the heck? Stun reduction. Berserk. Wanted order. Blink detention. Trump card. Okay, let's see what the other survivors got. We got bar time knee jerk on uh, barmaid and the novelist. 
bar time flywheel on uh, Priestess, and then bar time tide on Mercenary. So kind of kind of uh, stuff that we expect to see here. And Priestess has no more portals. She flywheels the trap and the hook at the same time. That was a beautiful flywheel. Use her portal to get back over. Okay. Did he just break the portal? Not gonna break the portal. Okay, that's that's kind of a mediocre portal. I can't even lie. But at least it, at least it's going through a portal and not um through a vault. So yep, he has to break that open. And he's actually doing a really solid kite right here. That still hits because it's bait. Oh, okay. What are we? I was say what are we waiting for, Bane? Okay. Um. Yeah, she still makes that to Shack. And there is a novelist here. Peep the blink, 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 blink. Ooh. Oh, he makes that? He makes that? He really? Okay. Careful. All right. He might be on, he might just be on the novice now. He can blink down him. No, he's waiting. He's waiting for it. Novice almost has another book. Yeah, he's got 50% way to a book. Okay. Can we see a metaphor? He's not going to... No, chase the novice. Chase the novice. Yeah, yeah. Chase Orphy. Chase Shuichi. Chase Shuichi. I was going to say, if that went through that freaking thing, I was going to be so mad. Blink. Oh, he saw it. He saw it. Yep, he saw it. Yeah, he saw it. Good blink. Very good blink from the Bane. But that's basically a three cypher kite from Priestess and uh, and the Novice combined. They even got the Priestess healed back up. I don't even know. I don't think they used a barmaid bottle for that. I think they just healed her. Honestly, you probably should because Priestess heals so stupidly fast, dude. She heals so fast. And Mercenary is already here feeding Tinnitus. His cypher is stuck at 89, but the last two are being decoded. We do see the dungeon is here, so we could see a, a dungeon play here eventually. Mercenary is setting up a long portal. Uh-oh. But he can tide through the... Wait, he's not going to break the long portal? Really? That's what I hate about long portal. <gasps> he tear shocks the Merc! He tear shocks the Merc, but the Priestess gets the rescue! He actually tear shocks the Merc! He actually tear shocks him! You're kidding! He has book, he has book, he has book. Book, 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 book. And he makes that! He can get to the long portal! Get to that portal! Get to that port. Or don't. Why aren't we going through the long portal? I guess he dies anyway. I want to go through the long portal. I think it'd be funny. Oh, he grabs Priestess. Hits Priestess. She flywheels. Yo. What the heck? He's still on the novice. They just don't take the long portal. I thought I thought they were going to try and tide through the long portal. I thought that was the strat. But then Mercenary just got freaking terror shocked. Oh, boy. I guess, I guess they played that well. Careful, careful. Careful. He's trying to slow him down. Oh, lose the pallet mine game. Lose the pallet mine game. Okay. The last cipher is not gonna be ready. It's not gonna be ready. I don't know where the, they don't have a last cipher. Yeah, they don't have it, and they're healing up the mercenary. They still have tide. They still have long portal. Um, they're actually on the cipher. Okay. Who are they gonna send in? To, are they gonna send a priestess rescue? Um. No, mercenary is gonna rescue. He's gonna go back. All right, Merc has to not get Terror Shocked here, bro. He has to not get Terror Shocked. If he gets Terror Shocked, bro, it's over. Okay. Mercenary, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. No Terror Shock? He doesn't get Terror Shocked. doesn't get Terror Shocked. Okay, the support, the support, the support. He swings, misses. Dude, they're trying to keep him alive. They're trying to keep him alive. CT needs these kills, though. They need these kills. ATC, dude, their support is too good. It hits the Mercenary. He swings, hits the Mercenary. Oh my goodness. Priestess still has a portal. That hits, that hits. He swings, he misses. He has book. They're gonna pop on the port. Yeah, pop, pop on power break, pop on power break. Yep, 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 exactly. I got a character like Bane who can down you with hook. That's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. Put him in an animation and then you can move. Okay, he knows the priestess is over here though. Yep, back on the priestess who almost has her flywheel back up. Okay, breaks pallet. Gonna need to see, we're gonna need to see a portal here, surely. She doesn't really have much to work with here. She might just be clipped. Okay, whoa, 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 jukes, jukes, jukes. He has TP, he's gonna chair TP, but somebody, yep, somebody stays at middle. Mercenary stays at middle. Uh, I feel like at best he can only get a draw from this, but even then, they're gonna probably get greedy. They're probably gonna get greedy. Novice has wanted. Novice should get out. Novice is dead on chair. He should get out no matter what. I feel like he should just get out. He's keeping his TP, though. He's keeping his TP. He is going to keep his TP. He TPs to the gate? But Novice can book? Yup. You just gave him a... You just wasted your TP. Oh, but Mercer... Wait, what? Merc? I thought he was going for that. Break long portal. Break long portal. Okay, breaks a long portal. I thought Merc would have gone for that already. What the heck? 
Okay, he's gonna get the rescue. It's gonna be after half. But Priestess has, like, a stupid amount of portals. She's going for the gate, but the Bainster's coming. He's on his way. It should still be a three escape. Okay. Portals, portal. We have three. Wait, where the... I thought she had three portals. Where did all the portals go? Okay, boom. There's a portal. All right, all right. He breaks portal. Only one more portal left. Oh! 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 What a combo! And that is stun reduction right there. That is desperate flight for you. Flywheel? No fly flywheel? Oh! There's no way she made that! You're... Bro! She makes that? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, after that cracked match, we have game two, second half, and they're opting to just give ACT access to Opera Singer again. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, to be fair, they're in behind by an insane amount of points. I think they're behind by 12 points right now, which is uh, really rough, honestly. That's really, really rough. Uh, let's see here. We're going to see uh, Dancer, Aeroplanist, Gardener, and Forward as the uh, survivors. And for their builds, we have Bar Time Knee Jerk on Dancer, Bar Time Tine on Aeroplanist, Bar Time Knee Jerk on Dancer, and then Bar Time Flywheel on the Forward. Opera has Blink Nintendo Trump Card, Berserk, and Fast Palette Break. Um, yeah, so a pretty standard uh, stuff that we see in round one, yet they're allowing this to happen in round two. I, I can't lie though, dude. I can't lie. That that last game from the survivor side was kind of beautiful. And I, I know there's a lot of hunter players out there that are usually like rooting for hunters. And I totally get that. Um I have a bit of a biased commentary, I understand that. Oh, he actually does take the hit. He tries to football, but actually uh does take the hit. My, my, my bias is usually toward whatever team is losing, so I'm kinda I kinda am rooting for uh for team C T here. Um but when I see a survivor when I see survivors getting a four escape, dude, I can't help but like kinda pop off because like four escapes are so rare. I, I see 4Ks all the time with Opera Singer, so it's not really that surprising when I see a 4K. When I see when I see like a, you know, an unpopular character or a niche character get a 4K, I, I pop off to that. I don't know. I, I just think like total domination from one side is really interesting for a specific game, not a set. Um, that's usually how my bias kind of works. We're gonna see a blink here most likely. Oh no, blink here, blink here. Fly was the blink. Ooh, Zeus IDV. Pallet? Oh, Pallet, my game lost it. That's unfortunate. Dang, that was a beautiful flywheel, though. Beautiful flywheel from Zeus IDV. <laughs> Literally, anytime I see a forward, bro, I'm just like, oh, Zeus IDV spotted. Okay, Cyphers honestly are... They're okay. They're okay. Two are done. One at 50. That's honestly fine. That's honestly fine. And Aeroplane's going to come on in here. He might have to use his hover to get to the chair safely. Uh, No, he's already here. He's already here. Yep, now, now at this point, you just kind of stalled out a little bit. Does he use an item? He is going to use his jetpack to try and avoid the uh, hit a little bit longer. Yeah, trying to stall the chair a little bit longer here. Okay. 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 We didn't, he's going to sit there. He doesn't care. He's going to eventually take the hit. doesn't matter. Opera just doesn't want to get pallet stuff, so the power is all in the survivor right there. Okay, hover to prevent double down. Yup, good. Very good, very good. This is what they need. This is what they need. Forward. Uh, He actually, he's out of, he's out of ball? I didn't realize he was out of ball. Okay, I guess he's out of ball, huh? Well, that sucks. Okay, well, he's gonna die off in a corner. That's what you, uh, that's what you want to do. The thing is, I, I'm pretty sure the set just ends here, because I think CT would need a four escape, though. That's the issue. And they don't have the ciphers for it. If they could get a three escape and then continue the set, that'd be nice, but I'm pretty sure it needs to be a four escape, because they've been 4 k and they've been four escaped against. So what they, what they need here is, um... A four escape against an opera, which is like, I think I've only seen it once in Koa so far. Maybe twice. I'm pretty sure I've only seen it one time though. It is not easy. Opera, opera. I swear, pretty much at minimum, unless the survivors are playing super, super well and the opera isn't. I feel like she almost always like secures a drop, no matter what, which is really tough. I don't know why they would like allowed ACT to play freaking opera singer. I guess they were more scared of Bane. Okay, just walks on through the pallet this time. Dang, she was respecting pallets all day until that one. She's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna fly on through it. Just, flies right through that thing. Now she's, dude, she is flying through these pallets. She does not care. Ooh, even with the, did he slow vault that? I swear he slow vaulted that. I swear Ford vault, vaults that way faster. It looked like he slow vaulted that. I don't know. 
it kind of looked like he slowed down Vault of that to me. I'm not really sure. But yeah, now he's dead, and that's it. That, that's the win for uh, that's the win for Team ACT. So yeah, a little unfortunate to CT. They kind of got swept a little bit. Um, yeah, Dancer. She didn't. She even had set some boxes set up. Gardner is here. The Cipher is prime, but it just doesn't matter. It's a draw. It's just a draw. Oh, Bugardo was gonna maybe try to do some uh, funny chair moments here. Okay, we've got bubble. Bubble time, here we go. Here we are. Cypher's Prime, why are we... What are you waiting for? Why? What are we waiting for? Everybody's got full resources. Why are we waiting? I don't know why we're waiting. Because the, the thing is, the airplanes can't, like, uh, airplanes can't move to the door. I, I really don't know why we're waiting there. I guess just trying to just rescue at an unpredictable time. And Dancer just dies. Dang, you gotta start dropping you gotta start dropping these pallets here. Oh, that's a 3k. That's actually a 3k. She sells her blink. Um, you don't have bubble yet, you don't have bubble. Blink? No? No blink? Oh my gosh, dude. The, this opera. She got a 3k. She's that's literally just a 3k. That's it right there. Dang, I thought that was a draw. I thought that was gonna be a draw, but no. The dancer just couldn't kite it out. She just she she kept just flying through the pallets. She needs to drop some. Dancer just wasn't dropping pallets. And even even like the, the the entire latter half of the game, the opera just did not care about pallets at all. She was just flying through them. Look at all the look at all the drop pallets. She's not even breaking them. She's like, yep. Why not? Why not? Airplane's gonna try and get the rescue. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't even get it. It's a 4K. Oh, he doesn't even get it. Oh, but they 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 get up. They self heal. But it's still it's still a 4K. Oh my gosh, Opera's so fast, dude. Uh, any other character and they would have made that, dude. Any other character and they would have made that. Okay, maybe like Lucino could have jumped and uh, and, and freaking Nightwatch could have win walked. But most other most other hunters would not have made that right there. Okay, you have Bubble. Hi, hi, hello, hi. <laughs> still dies. Are you serious? Oh, this is so sad, dude. This is so sad. This is this is depressing. This is honestly depressing to watch. I can't even lie. Oh! 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 Teach some respect! Yeah, hit him with the... Huh? Huh? Yeah, start emoting, bro! Emote! <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. They already lost. Yep. They already lost. All right, well, good stuff to, uh, to Team ACT. They won that in quite a dominant fashion. My goodness, I, I feel quite bad for Team CT, but, uh, you know, ACT, they played it well, I can't lie, they played that super well. Well, everybody, I think that is going to be it for today. Luckily, the boat is back to normal when I go back on to see. Are there two Antonios here? Yo, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Only, I think, four more matches of co -SEN to uh, check out here, so thanks, bro. Oh yeah, only a few more matches of, uh, or sets rather, of Koa CN to check out, and then we have uh, Global Finals in just a few more days. So I hope you're all as ready as I am. I'm super excited for it. Anyways, like I said, that's gonna be for me. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day, everybody. Bye bye.